WWE All-Stars Fantasy Warfare. Pride of Scotland. Highland Warfare erupts as two of Scotland's favorite sons face off in a square circle. Both of these guys are hidden wrestlers in this game. As I said, I only do one, and seeing as I like his moveset a lot better than the other guy, and as I mentioned in the previous video, his finisher just looks so cool through McIntyre. Granted, Roddy Piper is the cooler of the two, but Drew McIntyre is actually still wrestling as of this recording. Anyway, enjoy the hype package, and I will see you right after the hype package for the Pride of Scotland. Scotland, a warrior nation that spent centuries fighting for independence. Today, within every Scot burns a fiery spirit of a warrior. These men carry on this spirit with great pride. My name is Drew McIntyre, and I am from Scotland. There is nobody that can match my unlimited potential and aggression. The chosen one, the prodigy Drew McIntyre. Do you realize what I do to people? I hurt people. Oh, future shock! With the blood of a Scottish warrior coursing through his veins, this man from air has been proclaimed as the future of sports entertainment. An elitist, self-indulgent Scotsman. Mr. McMahon's chosen one. He is Drew McIntyre. Why don't you shut up for a second? That's my turn. My name is Rowdy Roddy Piper, and you ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, you can say I'm the hot rod. <laughs> Some folks call me the hot Scott. He was sometimes obnoxious, loud, brash, but Roddy Piper was at all times rowdy. I was rowdy before rowdy was cool. <laughs> when RP talks, people will listen. <laughs> I've come here to fight. I don't know what you come here to do. Mr. Controversial. You do not throw rocks at a man who's got a machine gun. Versus Mr. Arrogant. I've always done what I want, when I want. The Hot Rod. Just when they think they got the answers, I change the questions. Versus the Chosen One. The party's over. Rowdy Ruddy Piper versus Drew McIntyre. Both men fueled by aggression. Both men full of confidence. Two warriors with the fighting spirit of William Wallace. Inside the confines of the squared circle, they will fight to the finish, and only one man can be declared the victor. I strongly recommend you start showing me some respect. I ain't fighting for money, brother. I'm fighting for pride. Which man will earn the pride of Scotland? Piper was always amazing on the mic, except for when they brought him back. Welcome for like those random Piper Pit segments. As you can tell, he was starting to, you know... Oh, an Extreme Rules match! Maybe I'll actually use a weapon this time, unlike the other one. But, uh, yeah, Piper is ten times cooler than Drew McIntyre. But, but, like I said, McIntyre's moveset and finisher is ten times cooler than Piper's in this. Piper has a sleeper hole that breaks your neck, while Drew McIntyre's Future Shock just looks friggin' awesome in this game. And, you know what's even funnier? A friend of mine pointed something out to me. In the year 2017, two-thirds of 3MB were the top champions on their brand. J Drew McIntyre on NXT was NXT champion, and Jinder Mahal was WWE champion on SmackDown. How do you think that makes Heath Slater feel when Heath Slater has only won the tag team titles in his career? That's it. He's only ever won the tag titles. McIntyre has won the Intercontinental title a bunch of times, actually, surprisingly. I think he was a tag champion once. Jinder, well, as of this recording, he just might become United States champion. Or... He just might get that world title back. Roddy Piper wrestling in a kilt. I love it. One of my favorite Roddy Piper moments when he wrestled Goldust. And they they did the <laughs> uh, 
that car chase. That was hilarious. They're like, hey, this is in the news. Let's uh, reenact the O.J. Simpson Bronco chase. McIntyre, I believe, is a brawler. Everybody has a pile driver, except for Jimmy Snooker, as I mentioned. He has the Canadian Destroyer as a normal move. Go and create P.D. Williams and give Jimmy Snooker. Give him the Jimmy Snooker moveset. We'll be able to create P.D. Williams in this game. Uh, ground pound, son. Oh, it's brutal. See, McIntyre's moveset is brutal. Brutal looking. Anyway. That's uh, Extreme Rules, right? Pride of Scotland. Sorry for the uh, racist sounding Scotland accent. Suck it! Suck it! Take that. Yeah, give me that 2x4. I'll show you how to 2x4. Oh, look at that. A bell. It rings too! Bells will be ringing! Ring a ding, dinging! Get. Stop. Running. Now you can come back in the ring with me. Yeah, you get a chair, buddy. Joke's on you. See, that's how the rock bottom should have looked instead of. You know, that 92 feet jump in the air. Let's see, does Drew have another signature move when you hold the direction? He does! Awesome. Anyway, remember how I said how cool the Future Shock looks? Well, you're about to see it. Look how awesome this move looks in this game. Kicks him. And then... Oh! Boom! And the Oversell, too. That is why the Future Shock is actually my favorite finisher in this game. That move looks so cool in this. Oh, Drew McIntyre. Poor guy will probably not get any more success than he did in NXT when he finally gets called up again. Pride of Scotland. Well, as I take this time to go unlock Piper off screen, we just got one more Fantasy Warfare match. This one was kind of a letdown, but... The way they do it is not really a letdown. And you will find out what that one is next time here. When I finish up the Fantasy Warfare matches for WWE All-Stars. My name is Klinker Roth and I thank you all so much for watching.